Now that we know how to create our own custom apps and add apps that have already been created for us here in Podio, and we also have an idea of how we can take a look at our data, we can organize it, we can filter it, I want to add one more feature to our repertoire of items here in Podio. And it's a feature that you might have been seeing this whole time as we've been going through this video series, but we haven't talked too much about it, and that is the widgets aspect of Podio. So if you take a look at the right side of my screen here, I've got all these different widgets. One says contact, project status, due date, and so forth. Now again, I'm in the projects app in my sales workspace, and these are the two projects that we have going on so far. And what these widgets on the right side of my screen can do is they can give us a snippet of information. We can run reports using these widgets. We could also just display a message or an image. So maybe we want to display a message on the right side of our screen when we're in the projects app so that when members come into this app, they have an idea of what the information is and how they can use it. So in subsequent videos in this section, I'm going to show you how you can create your own widgets, how you can edit widgets, delete widgets. Right now, I just want to show you kind of how you can move these widgets around and just that they exist. So by default, when you create an app or when you add an app that's already been created, Podio is going to add a whole bunch of widgets over here on the side. So you can see in this app that we've created, we have a contact widget. And we don't see too much information right now, but what this is showing is this is showing a list of all the people that are the primary contact of the data that we've entered. So you can see Anson Alexander is the contact in two items, both of our projects over here. Now if I added a third project and I made Graham O'Meara the main contact, Graham would be listed over here too, and it would have a one next to his name, and our total would be three. We'd have three total projects. Two of them are owned by Anson Alexander, one by Graham O'Meara. Scrolling down, the project status is actually a really useful one in this situation because it lists all the statuses of all my different projects. So we've only got two projects right now, and you can see from over here on the left, one of them is in progress, and the other one is in the research phase. Over here on the right, it tells me how many projects I have total, how many are in the research phase, and how many are in the in-progress phase. If we had some that were completed or some that were not started, those statuses would also be listed over here on the right, so we could kind of get an overview of, as an organization, at what stage in the process are all of our projects at. This due date widget probably doesn't really do much for me. It's just listing all the different due dates. You know, maybe it would be nice if I had three projects due on one day. I could see that that is a useful, you know, a very busy day, and it would be some useful information. But later on in this section of the video series, we're actually going to delete this due date widget because it's really just not that useful for us. Down here, we, we have our two project status fields because, again, when we created this app, we did that in two separate ways, so I could show you the two different options you had for doing that. And then down here, the other widget that we have by default is the client widget, so it tells me how many projects each client is associated with. So I have two clients, the Acme Dairy Products, the Acme Lawn Services, and they're each associated with one project right now, which gives me a total of two projects. So again, I'm going to show you how to create some widgets, how to edit widgets, but the one last thing I want to show you in this introduction video to widgets is that you can move them. So when I mouse over a widget, you'll notice at the top, there's this little icon that looks like four arrows, and if I mouse over it, my cursor changes its icon. So I could then move this widget up in the list, or I could drag it down in the list so I can just choose the order of my widgets. So as we go ahead and we create some new widgets, go ahead and keep that in mind so you can specify the order that they're displayed on the right side of your screen.